It's an annual tradition. The 81st Pikes Peak or Bust Rodeo is back in town with the best that Pro Rodeo has to offer. KRDO News Channel 13 Spencer Soisher is live at the North Penrose Event Center. Spencer, last time we talked to you, you were trying to rope a goat, but we're fairly <laughs> unsuccessful at it. It looks like you've moved on to something Martin else Heather, now. Right now I'm Part Heather, right now I'm with a pair of bullfighters here. This is Bryce and this is Nate. And they uh, they fight the bulls after they uh, buck off the riders. I want to ask you guys a couple of things about your job because this is not necessarily a job that many of us think we'll ever go into. Tell me a little bit about your journey into being a bullfighter. Yeah, so uh, I got into it by accident. I went to college up at Montana State University to study aviation. And when I was up there going to school, I got a part-time job at the airport just to learn about the aviation industry. And I worked with this guy named Al Sandbold who fought bulls professionally for many years and uh, just uh, being a fan of rodeo my whole life and you know being an athlete uh, it just kind of sparked my interest in what he did and so I asked him to teach me and 12 years later here we are. What is the hardest part of being a bullfighter? Obviously they're a, a little bit wild when they're angry. What is the hardest part of this job? Uh, I say I, I think the hardest part is just being put in different situations and you never know what how a situation is going to unfold until it actually happens you know and uh, that's where your muscle memory memory and your uh, reacting comes in hand does every bull sort of act differently when you're trying to take them back down uh, I mean you know these animals they're, they're unpredictable some of them have the you know the same trip every time some don't and but at the end of the day whatever the bulls whatever that trip that bull has doesn't change our job. So um, we react off of um, what's happening right in front of us. I mean, we've got to kind of uh, unfold the pages of the book before it happens. And uh, when we're out there working, we're just reacting. You know, we're not out there thinking. Sure. So depend, no, no matter what that bull does, we got to be at that place at that time, no matter what. Awesome. And real quick before we go, I want to give you guys a quick look at the types of beasts that they may have to take down. This is Sippin' Sauce. Can't ask for a better name out of a bull right there. We're live at the Penrose Norris Event Center. I'm Spencer Soisher for KRDO News Channel 13. He looks so mad right now. The bull? Sipping sauce. Yeah, I, I, I'd get away, Spencer. Yeah. Can you imagine riding that thing? No. Looks like he wants to kill somebody. <laughs> My goodness.